Hey guys, that's the next day and as you can see, guess what, it rained again. So that's another consideration you guys want to keep into your progression of this tunnel is the type of weather you've got coming up. Um, there's nothing, I know with me, I like to get on something every day. I like to have a goal and I like to achieve that goal by the end of the day. It makes me feel like I've completed my project and plus it gets it done in a timely manner. Um, this rain has been a little hindering for us. We haven't had rain in like 45 days. And then the last like three days, we've had nothing but rain every day. It's been a muddy mess out here, as you can see behind me. Um, but today we're going to venture on and we are going to tackle one of these end walls. We've already got the end wall kits installed. We've already got the plastic on it, got the doors cut out. Um, and so I just kind of loosely want to walk through what that is like to install that. First of all, though, I recommend that you guys grab your instruction manual that came with your bootstrap farmer kit. And we are going to go. Um, over some of the meaning of this. Um, what I did with my kit was I actually physically laid this on the ground. As you can see in the picture here, they are laid on the ground. You can lay your pieces out. Your instruction manuals, like we've discussed over again, that they are very informative, have lots of great information in them to help you get this installed correctly. Tells you what tools you need, tells you what parts um, that you're going to need from that kit. And then it also has the instructions of how to lay this out. Uh, First of all, what you need to do is when you look, when you guys have, as you can see in the corner right there, you guys have your ground post in, and all of your ground posts, um, we laid those out in the last in the last uh, couple videos there, and we uh, showed you how to put those in the ground. They are four, po four foot tall ground posts. So you've got two foot above ground and two foot below grade. Um, and that's what you see right here on your 20 foot high tunnel kit here. What we are going to do is we are going to put the door dead center of the high tunnel. So I put a piece of landscaping fabric in. I burned the holes and I went ahead and followed my instructions. My instructions will tell you to split the high tunnel in half. Whether you have a 14 foot high tunnel or a 20 foot high tunnel, you want to split that in half and that's where you want to put the door. Like we talked about earlier, I'm not sure if you just can't put the door on the side here. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. Because um, you're doing upright posts on both sides, so it doesn't really matter which direction that you put this. But I chose to put the door in the middle. So what I did was I measured out the middle of my high tunnel. It happened to be 101 inches and 142 inches. So what I did was I set my door frame up there to make sure it was dead center in between those two posts. And then I drove those posts down to our mason line that is at the bottom of this of the uh drilled holes here to match everything else here. So everything was pretty much on the same line. And then what it asks you to do um, in the 20 foot tunnel, it wants you to find the distance from where your door frame post is to your outside post and split that distance and put another pole there. And that's just another vertical support going up. So I did that, as you can see, we've got four posts in the ground. They're all driven to that mason line. So now what we can do now is we can go through and we can put our vertical posts up and then we can get those uh, leveled out, and then we can begin putting this door on. So follow me. On the 20-foot high tunnel, you're going to have to put a secondary wall post in. And if you look at here, you have your first wall post here that actually holds the door frame, and then you have a secondary post that's over here. And this is just another support. And then you have your your post here on the corner where your uh, where your poles or where your um, your three-piece hoop goes into. So after you get those posts driven in the ground to where they are at the at the desired height that you have you have set for your high tunnel, then what you can do is you go in and you put your secondary pole kits in, and that's going to consist of uh, two, four, six, eight poles there. So all you're going to have to do is, like I said, lay them on the ground. Of course, common sense is going to tell you the longest poles are going to go in the middle because the middle is your highest point of the high tunnel. And your shortest extension pole will be the ones you use on the side here. Because if you take that short extension pole and try to add it to this pole here, you're going to be like two and a half feet short. So when you lay that kit out, that's why I said if you, if you lay all the pieces out first on the ground, then you can determine that before you actually physically set something in and screw something together and then have to take it apart. So you've got your highest pole set. You've got your hat channel on the ground here, and it's the same hat channel that comes in the kit that you use for your hip board and your baseboard. You guys saw us run this mason line. We put our four posts in the ground. This is for the 20-foot 
high tunnel, the 14 foot high tunnel does not need the second center post. So what the next thing we did is we ran, you see on the bottom here, we ran the hat channel across the, uh, the bottom. It does take a piece and a quarter probably. I think it was a piece and 20 inches on each side. So what you have to do is you have to do like you did on the hip and the baseboards, you have to put a splice in there and then you just lay it upon the ground and then that makes everything nice and tight right here. It ties everything together. So the next step we are gonna do is we are going to run our center poles straight up and then we are gonna attach them to the hoop and I'll show you that next. Okay, so this door kit that comes with it is gonna be a one piece design. It's already gonna be completely welded for you. Everything is gonna be in place, so all you have to do is set your frame in, and I will zoom in and do a close-up of that. All right, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this door frame in here. Um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your bolts that come with the in-wall kit, your nuts and your washers, a couple 7 sixteenths wrench, and at least a couple uh, levels. We want to level here at the bottom of the door frame, as you can see we're perfectly level there. If not, you can manipulate the ground a little bit or pick up and pick down as needed, depending on the on the flatness of your ground, the levelness of your ground here. In this door frame kit, there are already holes drilled through both sides and through the top, and that's where you run your four bolts into your upright, your vertical upright frame pieces that you installed in the earlier uh, couple frames. So what I'm using is I'm using a clamp just to assist me in holding this door frame nice and perfectly level. I can run my level straight up and down this way and straight up and down that way as you can see our door frame is level. So what I've done is I've already run one of these bolts through here and I've already got a nut on the back side. So all I'm going to do is just snug up that nut just to snug it up a little bit. I don't want to fully tighten it because I may have to move this door a little bit and then we're going to move up to the next one up top here. All right, as you can see, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take our 7 16 wrench here. We're going to run our bolt through with our washers on it that is included in the kit. We're going to run them through. The washer on the back side here. And we're just going to give it a little snug. Um, like I said, we're not going to get crazy. We're just going to snug it down to hold it so we can take these clamps off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing to the opposite side. And I'll get back. If you notice the door frame kit, comes with holes pre-drilled on both sides. And also right there. What those are for is you, it will come with bolts that you are supposed to drill through. You can kind of really see here. You've got a bolt that's set through and threaded on the other side. Those are going to be your quarter by two inch galvanized bolts. You will have washers and lock washers for that. So your bolt head will actually be inside of there hidden. And then you can tighten that bolt up to your ground post, which keeps this nice and sturdy. Um, and that's the same way is when you come up top here, you will see that it's bolted in. So you've got your, your ground post, your secondary wall post and then your wall extension to the top. And then at the very top of that, you've got your, as you can see, you've got your purlin bracket right there that actually bolts to the wall kit. And then you can use a number eight tech screw is what I used to screw that in. When I did, when I did this kit, I used a level on all of my poles to get this as level as possible. But that is exactly how the secondary wall is screwed in also if you look. You can see there is your your wall purlin kit bracket there bolted to the pipe and then screwed with the number eight to your end wall comes down and then bolts put the same bolts into your ground post there. Um, the wall is completely set up that way. Everything is really easy, really easy to do by yourself. I did this one by myself. It took me a good couple hours, but um, I went like I said, I went through and I leveled everything. Um, now, the only thing that does not um, come done for you from the factory, basically, is the install of your door knob or door open kit, however you want to call it, your door kit, your hinge kit. All it does tell you there is very detailed instructions on where you have to drill a hole to pass this bar through. Very simple, just bolts in. Everything comes in the bags. As you can see here, your nuts and your washer. Move back out here so you guys can see it from the outside here. Everything is 
It's nice and square, nice and easy. Like I said, guys, this kit goes very easy. Um, and then all you have to do is actually put your put your channel lock on everything and then put your wiggle wire inside the channel lock after you put the plastic on and that will pull everything nice and taut for you. As you can see um, here around the hinges, around the base of the door, everything is, everything is nice and tight there. Okay guys, well, that's kind of the loosely walk through of how the, how the door kit and the end wall kit is installed on your all metal um, bootstrap armor high tunnel kit. So I will pop you guys on the next one. Thanks.